Hi everyone, I want to talk to you today about Kyocera's philosophy on management, project management, and leadership. The Japanese man who created the company, his name is Dr. Kuzmo Inamori. He has an idea and a philosophy that he came up with 12 stages or 12 principles that his entire company gets a small book to live by. As soon as you're hired, you get his principles book, you're indoctrinated, and you go through these. The 12 principles are pretty simple. They're based on Buddhist ideas, and the Buddhist ideas come about of elevating character, living a happier life, making yourself more fulfilled in life by doing different principles and things that make you a stronger, better person, like devoting time to others. The 12 principles start out with one, making sure you have a purpose and a mission for everything you do and everything you work with your team. Set specific goals. Keep passionate. That's something we always fall apart on together in teams. We get tired, so we have to take time for ourselves. You have to strive to make everyone happy. I know, that's hard when you're on a team. That's why I keep saying, listen to everybody emphatically. Try to make sure you listen to everybody's point, because we all have a view. It seems like one of the hardest things to do, but sometimes the simplest thing to do. We need to think about this on a business case too in teams, because we're always trying to maximize our revenues and shorten all the, all the costs. Pretty simple. Sometimes we have to learn that the leaders make the hard decisions, like pricing. Let them do it. Let your top managers do this. Focus on being the best that you can. One of the big things about success is making sure that you have a great willpower to be successful. That means constantly re-educating yourself, constantly reading books, constantly looking at other people's ideas, emphatically listen to teammates or other teams' ideas and say, hey, how do we integrate your great idea into our philosophy? That's where success comes, when you start sharing knowledge, passing it forward, looking to do more. You start thinking about a way to have a, a spirit of joint effort, helping each other, learning more through spreading knowledge, tacitly and explicitly. You have to look at facing every courage, this is 10th idea, essentially, and saying, I can do this. It's scary, but if I fail, I'm gonna learn from it, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do more, I'm gonna do better. You have to learn how to be creative at all times. Don't do the same thing over and over. Don't read the same book. Challenge yourself to try something differently. I have five different bicycles. Why? I ride five different styles. It's fun. I learn more. It creates a harmony and balance in myself with nature when I get out there and ride on a mountainside versus a long stretch on a rail trail or around campus on my Brompton, a folding bike. A lot of you see me do it. It's fun. It brings new energy to me, something that I enjoy myself. Another thing you have to think about is being sincere. Yeah, we have to own our problems, we have to own our own identities, and we have to listen to people sincerely and emphatically. Be passionate to them, understand them. If you don't agree with them, you don't have to challenge them. Say, I accept your position, and I can think of this as a good thing. It's not a win-win situation, as Dr. Covey says, so we're gonna just go our separate ways, or we'll agree to disagree today. But next week, because we're on the same team, we're in the same organization, we're still going to work together. We're still going to say, you know what? We didn't work together that well last week. I didn't agree with you, but this week you're spot on. I want to learn more from you. Another way to think about all this, is his last idea, is be cheerful and positive. No matter what I do in life, I'm trying to find a way to make everything great. You can look at a cup of water. It can be half full or half empty, or as I like to do, take the cup, drink it, and be happy you had water, because someone else might not. Gang, have a great day. I hope some of these ideas you can use in your paper, hints. Everybody's doing this together. I hope maybe you try to learn a little bit more from this philosophy. Maybe you go online and buy one of uh, the books that he's produced. That's more on the spiritual side, but in some essence, but if you grab one of his management, project management books or leadership books, I can tell you that they're excellent. They're a great way to change the philosophy yourself and think differently. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see everybody soon.